Okay, okay, let me just slam this because I can't play anything and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yes, dude. Oh. Oh, dude. I'm getting chills everywhere. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I think, I think I hear what he's doing, hold on. Uh, he's got octaves on his strings. Does he have the D string and the E string tuned to the same thing? Hold up, y'all said he's got the tuning in the, um, thing. No. D, A, D, G, D. Are those fits? What? What? Great opening. It's like, it has a haunting, kind of somber touch to it. Very nice tempo. Again, like his previous videos, he doesn't rush the openings, he just gives it a nice little atmosphere. It sounds gangster, man. With his musicality and his tempo, you can really hear like the sad mood uh, through that opening. Uh, it gave me some goosebumps, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it sounds so good. Oh. Okay, so he has it in an alternate tuning. You can hear it. Because when he when he strums the top strings, that sounds like crap what I just did. When he does it, it sounds like a chord. So I, he definitely has it in an alternate tuning. But what really, really impresses me, and this is gonna sound embarrassing for me, I've never known so i'm gonna go back like we stopped around like 45 seconds so this right here i have never understood actually i've never even thought like where does that sound come from what instrument and he just did it that doo -doo -doo -doo, that little italian sound i don't even know how to describe it right here that 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 that, 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 Sally, that!
They're like, it's almost like a 12 string the way he's got those two strings tuned. D to G, D to, wait, D to G is, that's a fourth. Does he write his strings backwards in the way that I, I write them? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, oh, he might be saying high to low. I bet he's saying high to low. They are octaves. I bet it's, I usually when I write my letters, it's from low to high. So D, A, G, D, G, D would be the sixth string to the first. I think he's writing them in reverse. I think I was right before. It's, it's, those are octaves. He's tuned his fourth string and his first string to be Ds. And so he's got this really sick octave sound. You look at these shapes he's playing. Right there, right there, right there, right there. That's all, that's all. Da, 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 da. That little whole thing is all in those pairs of fourth and first strings. He's playing octaves, but he doesn't have to play these weird ass octave shapes because he's uh, changed the tuning. with the last two videos you hear the melody but then you hear all the you hear the orchestra within that melody the orchestra has many many instruments so he's trying to capture all those instruments uh, together on one instrument <laughs> Just excellent. Nice. understand why everybody's commenting on the video saying hey godfather theme song next godfather theme song next i get it now this may not be a lips hardest song that he's played but man it isn't it just beautiful sounding it's just it flows so nicely and whatever tuning he has it in is just brilliant cuz i looked up how to play the godfather theme song before we started doing this and all I could find was stuff in standard tuning. So that means a lip was like, hmm, let me uh, put my own spin on it. The dude is just, it's like every video I do, I'm like, oh dang, he can play that too? <laughs> oh, I, uh, I, I don't know how to play that. Uh, does that mean I suck? Hey, does that mean I suck? Does that mean I suck at guitar? Yeah, I think it does actually. Oh, that. Ooh. Ooh, I don't even want to ruin it with this, with this. Oh. Uh -huh.
he's a lips doing some tapping in there too. So when you see him do this little thing where he's like plucking, he's just doing that right there. Which is, it's kind of hard because you have to barely put your finger over the, the fret marker and then pluck. He does it a lot better, but then he's also doing like, ooh, that sounded like crap. That sounded horrible. That sounded horrible as well. Okay, let's try it one more time. He's doing stuff like that. I'm not very good at it, okay? Remember I quit playing guitar for life yesterday? Okay, okay, let me just slam this because I can't play anything and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wow, again, uh, great performance. Um, I just kind of let this one roll a little bit. It was hard to take breaks and interrupt because uh, it's such a somber type piece. You don't really want to interrupt in the middle and start yapping. So uh, I just tried to let this one play. When you hear like a slower song like this, it showcases uh, performers uh, musical side uh, their emotional side if you will it's not so much leaning on uh, technicality and virtuosity um, like for example Bohemian Rhapsody right with the fingers flying and everything although this piece is still really difficult like you can tell it's it's very hard but what I'm impressed with here is uh, the musical quality especially that opening I would love to find a way to collaborate with this guy I don't know uh, if you'd be okay with that to like play violin over top some of his stuff more than words would be a great one to take a look at actually um, that might be the next one who knows also i see that he does his own composition so that really intrigues me because uh, i like to compose my own music as well so guys i hope you like the video uh